Hi guys and welcome back to Rexy's Reviews. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the original Jurassic World Roravors line. So this is the first set in the grey boxes. There are one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dinos all together. So uh, just last week I was lucky enough to get the last one that I've been searching for. So, perfect time to give them a check. So, here we go guys. Let's check them out. So then guys, here we are. First up, Metriacanthosaurus. So, let's say being part of the roar of oars, these do have sounds. Some assembly required, so as you can see, tail is separate to save on shelf space. Um, so these guys do have a decent bit of articulation. So obviously with the action, uh, you got movement in the jaw. Movement in the arms, legs, you get a little bit of movement in the tail. Um, nice sculpt, good bit of detail on it. Nice paint scheme, so you've got the, the sort of mustardy brown body and then the uh, green down its back. Nice detailing on the eyes. Try not to knock the camera. And there you go, so you can see the snap and jaw. And if we look at the back push button for sound and chomping action a couple of the other dinosaurs in the line which we'll have a look at as well there we are that is the metriacanthosaurus and then next up we have the pteranodon so wings are attached, but these fold out. Um, ready? Not the easiest of things to do with it in its packaging. Uh, as you can see, this one is rather dusty. I need to give this one a bit of a clean. Um, but again, nice sculpt. Uh, there is articulation, very small amount. Um, it's more that the, the beak is flexible than actual articulation, I think. You do get the head that moves, though. Obviously, the wings that flap and fold in and fold out. Um, got a dark green sort of main body with the the maroony red on the uh, crest cheeks and on the wings and then if we flip the box over you can see the actions there so press the back for the wings flap and the sound showing a few of the other ones in the line so all these boxes obviously apart from the uh Specific pictures, all the designs are the same. Next, we have the Ceratosaurus. Uh, really, really like this one. This is definitely one of my favourites in terms of sculpt. Uh, obviously, we saw this guy first in Jurassic Park 3 with the... Uh, the riverboat scene where they find the fawn in the great big pile of poop but yeah so button again on the back so let's see what we've got there we go so really really nice sculpt on the head again 
Uh, all hard plastic. All of these are all hard plastic. Yeah, really nice sculpt on the head. Really nice details on the uh, the horn and the eye crests. Nice paint job on the eye. So we've got the the sandy beige down the body. Got articulation in the arms and legs with the other ones, and then obviously you've got the nice bright red down its back with the black striping. So this one again assembly required you can just see the tail tucked in the back there just about again all about sh saving shelf space and if we flip it over nice picture of it all assembled there we are very nice and next we have the Triceratops. So in this line we got the brown one. So similar sculpt that gets used throughout many of the Jurassic World lines. But again they've done a nice job. Um, semi hard rubber. On the horns, whereas all the rest is pretty solid plastic. Uh, and let's have a look at the sounds and actions. There we are. So obviously you see the head moves when it makes a sound. Um, articulation on the legs, movement on the head, and you can't really see, but tucked right down in the back there is the tip of its tail to be assembled. Um, don't think you get articulation on the tail, just, well, tiny bit on that tip where the join is. Um, look at the head, isn't she pretty? Nice detailing with all the uh, the platelets and the scales on its crest. We should go down to its beak. Flip it over. So you got the uh, the head nodding, ramming action. You know, push button for sound and head ramming action. Uh, obviously, all of these ones have the little DNA scan on the foot for the uh, the facts app, and it's a good way of keeping track of what you've got. Unless you like me and keep them in the box, and then you can't scan them. Uh, next up, we have Allosaurus. Uh, really, really nice. Do like this one. Uh, lovely detail on the head there. Just little crests. Nice paint scheme. So obviously you've got the uh, the base colour of this deep grey. Nice bit of uh, sort of almost gold embellishment around the eye. And then you've got the, the creamy greeny colour down its back. So, again, assembly required, tail in the bottom. Uh, articulation on the legs and arms. And then button on the back again, so let's have a look. I think that was four different sounds there. And really nice piece. Push button for sound and chomping action. A uh, couple of the others, so we've already seen these two. Haven't got the bear. 
Barry yet, but we will. And next up we have the Cyanoceratops, which obviously this is actually cast off a Pachyrhinosaurus. As everybody knows, but we need to have it. Really nice paintwork, lovely detailing, nice sculpt. And then let's have a look. three different sounds on this one so you've got the the beige creamy colored underbelly and accents on the the side of the face and the crest uh, on its legs and down its back as well obviously with the uh, the base green there and flip it over and then you can see a full picture again you need to assemble the uh, tip of the tail on this one push button for sound and head ramming action there we are and next we have the baryonyx so really nice one so this was a whole new sculpt and new take by Mattel on the Baryonyx. Um, for those of you who are familiar with the Kenner Jurassic Park series, uh, obviously we had a Baryonyx back then. Uh, very different in terms of sculpt and design. But here we are with this one. So you've got the base brownie colour for the bulk of its body. Then you've got the blue the deep matte blue on its back and on its legs and things but then if you look on the top of the snout you have this nice shiny metallic blue as well just to give a bit of extra highlight and detail really nice sculpt on the head nice detail and on the eye as well as with the others articulation in the arms Legs, tail needs to be put on. Button on the back, so let's have a look. So this one has got a bit of a sticky jaw. Uh, I think that was actually quite a common problem with the uh, the baryonyx. Again, like I said, I think this was a common issue with this one. Um, or it could just be me and mine is a bit sticky. I don't know. Uh, tell me in the comments if yours is the same or not. There we are. Picture on the back of its uh, snapping jaw action. That is the Baryonyx. And then last but not least, the Ankylosaurus. So this was the last one that I had to track down to be able to complete the set. So big shout out to uh, my friend Anton, who managed to supply me with this one. Dude, you're awesome. 
I will put details and links to Anton's Facebook shop because he sells all sorts of uh, retro toys and things um, called the Retro Toy Zone on Facebook. So I'll put some details of his page in the detail section below. So give him a check out and a follow. So anyway, this is the Ankylosaurus. Really nice detail. Lots of uh, spikes down the back and obviously down the side. These are sort of, a, as you can see, flexible rubber the ones on the back not so much flexible but they are rubber rather than molded hard plastic whereas the rest the head shell tail etc etc is all hard molded plastic but nice coloring nice detail so you've got the legs and underside is this deep brown color You've again got the, the sort of green of the head and the outer sides of the shell and going down to the tail and club on the end. And then obviously you've got the grey in the middle of the back and then the light grey for the armourage. So again, let's have a look. Button on the back. So obviously the action on this one is a swinging tail, can't really see in the box, unfortunately. But hopefully you could hear those. So yes, let's flip it over. Oh, you can see the picture there. So obviously the swinging club action. Flip it over. There we are. Picture button on the back, swinging club. And then a couple of other dudes available. There we are, so that is number eight, the Ankylosaurus. Let's see how many of these I can get into shot. La 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 la. La 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 la. I'm getting there, we're getting there. So, there we are, guys. That is the Roar of Oz. Jurassic World OG set, full line of all eight dinos. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. I would love to hear your comments and your thoughts on this line. Uh, which is your favourite? Which is your favourite dinosaur from this one? Uh, which ones do you like? Which ones do you not like? Uh, what do you think could have been improved by Mattel? Lo always love to to read your comments and your thoughts on it so yeah hope you've enjoyed the video if you have done click and you think it deserves it click the like button and don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media to stay up to date with everything that's going on in the world of rexy's reviews and stay tuned for more upcoming videos hope you've enjoyed it catch you next time and stay awesome